Hey everybody, this is Nemo and welcome to day five of the PrestaShop 101 series. So it's high time to update our PrestaShop as my local version is 1.6, where is it? 0.6 and uh, the most recent one at the time of this recording is 0.08, uh, even though 0.09 is about to be released, but anyway, 0.08. So, uh, before attempting uh, anything, oops, before attempting anything, it's uh, worth mentioning that I strongly, really strongly discourage a direct update of a live store. Why? Mm, simply because anything can go wrong and you might really be left with a non-working site for a whole day or even more, especially if you're, uh, you cannot rely on a coder or uh, anyway, a tech guy. So before trying anything, make sure you set up a testing environment if you can. And yeah, I know there are some cases when this is simply not possible. Uh, so we will take some measures anyway, just in case. Now that we know this, let's start dealing with our current presto shop. So access the models pages I did here and locate, it's the first one actually, the one click upgrade module. Of course, install it or if it's installed already, uh, update if necessary. Then here, after accessing the configuration page, let's have a look at the pre-upgrade checklist. First off, as I already mentioned, it's necessary to have this module up to date, so you will be notified in case uh, you don't have it. The second one, your store's root directory is writable, means that the stores folder needs to be accessible by Presta Shop itself to make modifications. So if you get a red mark here, access your site using an FTP client or even uh, cPanels file explorer, explorer, sorry, uh, let me show you. So here is cPanel and uh, you go to the file manager and then this is uh, an example. You can see that permissions are set to uh, 0755. Uh, this should be okay in most uh, of the hostings, but you might also need uh, to uh, increase permissions to 0775 or even 0777, which mm, might actually be a bit risky for security reasons. So if you have to do it, make sure you set it back to how it was afterwards. Let's go back. PHP safe mode option is turned off. This is typically a hosting related issue or a server configuration anyway uh, related. So if you manage your own php.ini file, make sure you switch safe mode off, which I anyway I recommend uh, in any case if you run PrestaShop or of course ask your hosting company. Next one is again uh, PHP configuration. So take uh, what I just said as valid for this as well. Store is in main tenants. This will be red if your store is live. So just click here and it's done. Then caching. Uh, actually, um, I intentionally made this spawn an error to show you how to deal with it. So if you're using any kind of caching system, you need to disable it for the upgrade to run. So hop to uh, preferences, sorry, advanced parameters, performance scroll down to cache and set it to no and save and back to our one click upgrade module the last option uh, concerns the um, maximum execution time of a script as the uh, upgrade scripts uh, execution to execution time might take um, a while it's necessary to have a high maximum execution time set in the PHP configuration. Again, same as uh, as before. So now that our checklist is settled, let's let's move on. Um, by default, uh, it's better uh, to. Oops, let me shh, let me scroll a bit. Uh, you can see we have more options here, expert mode, and it's um, better to ignore them by default. But I just want to mention a small thing. If you want to upgrade to a specific PrestaShop version instead of the last one, head over to the PrestaShop website, download the version you need, 
place the archive in your admin folder slash auto upgrade slash download and then select uh, local archive as channel and you can see here it says of course uh, I don't have any so no archive found in the auto upgrade download directory but of course we will stick to the to the default one for now so after that let's make sure to check backup options in addition to always always really always backing up the database so make sure this is set to yes we can also do it for images and uh, this is um, especially useful if you're uh, migrating from a major version to another like 1.5 to 1.6 then lastly upgrade options I recommend oh yes basically unless you modified uh, the default theme here or um, modify the email templates in that case of course set these options to no okay uh, well we're ready so now um as I don't ever trust press the shop I will do a manual backup from cPanel as well so uh, I will go back to my cPanel here and this is actually just uh, to uh, demonstrate the purpose as um, I will do uh, a manual backup from the cPanel of another site as I'm using PrestaShop on a local server for uh, the 101 series. So I will go to backups and then hit download or generate a full website backup. Of course, uh, I don't need to do it, but just click generate backup. Once the backup process will be completed, uh, you will be emailed to the email address uh, you chose and I recommend you uh, you add yours uh, so that you can then download and use and keep safe by the way this is something you should do every maybe not every day but every day if you have a considerable amount of customers and keep uh, your backup safe so if something goes wrong the rollback doesn't work you have a fully functional uh, backup to uh, restore after the the failed upgrade and I wanted to mention something else. If you, uh, th the full backup should also backup the database, but if you want to do it manually, just access PHP my admin here and locate uh, your database. I have many here. <laughs> and then export the whole database. Hit go and save, <clears throat> sorry, and save uh, when you need. Settle. Okay, I feel safe enough as I already have a backup of my local files. So let's go for it. Uh, back to the upgrade module. Everything's okay. So let's hit upgrade. Press the shop now. And now, of course, we. Um, I have to wait, you don't, but I have to wait for a process to be completed. Um, I will pause the video so that you will see uh, the end result. Of course, um, if something bad happens, I will uh, resume the video and, and uh, tell you more about it. Because sometimes you might come across uh, an Ajax issue, something uh, uh, that would read, uh, for example, XHR error something like that and um, if you do just screen the error post it to the official PrestaShop forum and uh, add all the information you can provide uh, so uh, somebody might be able to help you of course then restore your backup all right so it's done and nothing bad happened apparently so uh, let's just check if everything still works I will log back to the and as you can read here um we need to log in again to the back office i'm not refreshing that page just uh, to keep it for safety reasons in case i need to check uh, any error and uh, okay this seems to work 1.6.0.8 let me check now back to the maintenance enable shop yes and my shop Let's see if something bad happened here. Okay, okay, it seems to be working. Good. 
Good. Um, notice that you might need to uh, clear your browser cache or uh, the stores cache. So uh, if you need to, advanced parameters, performance, and clear cache if you need to. Okay, uh, as you can see, it's really easy to update PrestaShop. If something weird happens, no worries, the community is always, always there to help. So as always, thanks for watching everyone. I will see you in the next video.